Hi guys, it's Shanice from May the Buns Be With You um, and today it will be a video about our new hamster. So I'll be showing you some of the new I'll be showing you some of the new supplies that we've got um, and bits that we've collected. Um, some bits he's already using, other bits um, is when we've got his really giant enclosure that we've been making the lithium um, enclosure from IKEA and that'll be finished. Friday, so he's only got to spend a few days in um, a decent size, but not as big as I would like it personally. Um, so let's see what we've got. So let's start with some bits. So um, I found this brand through Instagram um, and I was recommended from a few people. So it's from Hopes, Hopes Healthy Treats little logo, got a little hamster on, um, and there was quite a few different things. So in here, I think that's the Jubilee Forage. I'll just take a picture because I don't really want to open it yet. Um, a few minutes later. Okay, we'll draw it closer to me. So um, I've also collected some uh, treats from there. So we've got um, monkey nut. So hamsters go crazy for these. Um, it's really good, it's a bit of enrichment um, and obviously a nice little treat. So there's that one. Another one we've got is Hope's Healthy Treats is the dried cucumber. And I think this came in the subscription box. Some of these bits will be from the subscription. Um, but you can order them separately as well. More monkey nuts. Um, Sunflower seeds. Um, got a bag of forage, contains dandelion, marigold, blue cornflower, hibiscus, flowers, chamomile, sunflower petals, and rose petals. There you go, got a little bag of that, see if you like that. I also have um, two bags of this. I think this one's crickets, um, and this one's mealworms. See if you like them. I don't want to buy too many because I've never had a hamster before who didn't like mealworms. Um, I know, crazy, right? Um, also got some millet sprays. Um, I'll add some clips of what they look like. I don't really want to open them for now. Um, more millet sprays. Oh look, one's open. There you go. So that's what they look like. Oh, I can't remember what these are. And I think these are from the same place again. Um, yeah, so this one more of this type of spray, and this one as well. And I think they're either from her. Um, or I have also got this one, I think maybe it's just called Hamsters We Love. And now I did the really stupid thing of, it's, I didn't notice that it had like a little opening here where you can like shut it. So I opened it this way round, so that's fun. But that comes with um, the flax sprays that and some other wee and sprays and stuff. So you can see the flat sprays are amazing. Like if you haven't tried them with your hamsters, you need to, um, my hamster goes crazy for them. Also got these, um, I can't remember what they're called, but um, they're like kind of things that they can chew on and really good at wearing down their teeth. They also got a little crocodile one too. <laughs> so I've got the Jubilee bits and I think that comes with a little wand in, but it's just like a forage arrangement. I've got this, which I thought was a really, really decent size. I'm really happy with that because I expected it to be like a lot smaller. Um, but I'm glad it's bigger because the hamster's quite big. Oh, I've also got this. So um, I think this is blasted sand brush. Um, you can see it's like really quite long. So hopefully he'll be climbing over that. 
Um, but these are all things that would just be really good, really enriching for his enclosure. I've got this bamboo root. Um, he's not ventured climbing this yet in free roam time, but um, interesting. With lots of different angles. Um, it kind of reminds me of potato. Anyone else see it as a potato? It looks like a potato to me. But it's bamboo. <laughs> okay. And then I've already opened this, but... Oh, and those both were from Hope's Healthy Treats. Um, and then there's also is a bag of sand, bag of substrate, and um, I've already got some other substrate, um, which is flinch, or flint, flinch, flinch, flinch bedding. Um, and this one is asp, aspen, aspen bedding, aspen. S10. And we just open so safe. I want to give some different textures. Um, I've got quite a few different um, And then, I think a lot of this is healthy treats because um, the shop was just amazing. There was a few bits that were sold out, and I was like, I really wanted. So I made two orders actually. Um, so, got beach chips, um, which I'm pretty sure I've got some open. Yep, some open, so I've got two bags of them. That one can show you what it looks like. So you get kind of the gist of that one. And then here we have cork granules. Now I'm pretty sure I have two of these as well. Which are more like this. Where's these? me. <coughs> okay. And then we've got more um, beach chips and cork granules. And this is coconut chips. Very nice, very good. And I did have a bag of soil, um, not soil, bag of cocoa fiber. Um, it was only a small bag, and it's in his enclosure, and he's been playing in that. As you can see as well, I've got this, which is coconut chips. And then also from Hope's shop, we've got this little platform and um, I thought I could have a bottle um, and we've got a bowl on there. So it's the size and um, so I was thinking I could have the bottle on there and the water bowl, which I thought would fit quite nicely. Not sure, I might just um a bit of it, yeah. Um so we've got that and obviously it comes with the little bits to screw on. Um, he's not had that yet. Got a few other bits, so I'll just grab them and show right, you. These are bits that I didn't get from there. I actually got this one from our local pet shop, which is just for pets. Um I do like them because they don't sell live animals. Um they used to, the one near us, but they don't anymore. And I don't think the whole, I think the whole chain doesn't, um, which I really respect that choice. Um, and in there, I did notice that they had some big enough um, enclosures for hamsters. So I was quite impressed with that. So um, I went in there because my roadie pet delivery wasn't here yet. And um, I needed a wheel for a day because <laughs> um, we spontaneously I ended up getting seeing a hamster in the adoption bit at pets at home and I was not ready. <laughs> I was ready but not ready. Um but yeah so I've got it's really silent because it's got like this bolt bearing um which is so much quieter. It's really it's heavier you can you your pay this one was a lot more expensive. Maybe 30 or 40 could even be more. Um 
I've got this little cute little dish which I also found from my local little pet store. Um, just for pets. And then I got this pop-up playpen from Amazon and it just pops up. <laughs> so I use this in the night time or in the morning and um, whenever he's awake. And then he is really active so he is definitely coming out and playing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, thank you very much. Make sure you leave a comment telling us what you like the most from this video. Have you ever shopped at any of these places before? This is that I need to check out. Um, I'm in the UK, but um, Roadie Pet I got from abroad as well delivered, so I am willing. But I'm aware that Night Angel isn't shipping here yet, which makes me very sad because their stuff is just absolutely gorgeous. So if you're in the US, definitely check out Night Angel. Um, but if you're in Europe, then definitely check out Roadie Pet because um, I think they were the most similar kind of fits. Um, but yeah, and I've got another still waiting for some bits from Bears Hamsters, so that says hamster food um, coming and I've also got another hide but it's like the ones at the bottom where you, it has like the peep hole so you can see so that's going to go at the bottom of his lithium cage but hopefully that comes before Friday so I can show you all and um, hopefully show me setting it up as well. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching.